There is a lot of talk about Ripple's XRP right now, with big forecasts that it will be the world's leading cryptocurrency investment in 2024 and the universal currency for banks. But how much of these projections are true resides in these claims? More significantly, are there verifiable facts to back up the theory, or are there specific reasons to believe these conjectures? That banks will incorporate XRP into their operations moving forward. I'll go into great detail about this in today's video. We'll search through the official bank websites and find important records. Exposing the true plan of action behind the impending modifications to the payment systems and global financial systems by the end of this conversation, nearly every country will be impacted by this global shift, rather than just the US. We'll address a few of the most urgent inquiries, why is the price of XRP not higher? Even though Ripple has a lot of agreements with different organizations and central institutions, banks may not require XRP to transact on Ripple's network. What could cause the price of XRP to increase if banks start using Ripple's technology as a standard? I also recall the video I showed two days earlier, in which I talked about Larry Thinking, the CEO of BlackRock, a massive company that manages upwards of $10 trillion in assets, maybe even $20 trillion. Talking about an Ethereum, it's interesting that when asked about a possible XRP ETF, not an actual XRP ETF, he ran out of words. I am aware that you have Ether available, what about XRP? I'm not able to answer, can you? If you enjoy our work, please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification, and show us some love by hitting that like button. Ring. Okay, everything now let's leap. Let's get right to the point, given that XRP is now trading at $0.57 cents and has a market capitalization of $31 billion out of a total market capitalization of $1.7 trillion. The key question is how much money could be put into a project like XRP, for instance. Germany's second biggest bank, DZ Bank AG when it comes to assets, started a revolutionary alliance with Ripple in November 2023, then ventured into blockchain and cryptocurrency services. This is an interesting relationship. Between the Bank of England and Ripple on the bank's official website, you may find a comprehensive strategy for a collaborative project that will go past 2024. Endeavor aims to scale wholesale CBDs efficiently by revolutionizing cross-border payments and integrating FX transactions into two separate simulated real-time settlement systems. Additionally, let's not ignore the noteworthy developments at Wells Fargo. They've been working on a speedy replacement, and this isn't just hearsay. Visiting Wells Fargo's official website provides information about their real-time payment methods, such as collaborations with affiliates of Ripple Talk about RTP and the eagerly awaited Fed currently providing service, an issue that our frequent viewers are aware of. With the transition to faster payments and RTP, we've gone from electronic transactions with next business day settlements to a faster payment age that has completely changed the way individuals and businesses transfer money. We are now living in a time where instant payment options are redefining speed and availability. Let's delve even more into the realm of real-time payments and examine the outstanding potential of FedNow and real-time RTP payments. RTP has now taken off, enabling transactions of up to a million dollars while Fed. Wells Fargo has made noise about imposing a half-million dollar cap on transactions. On the advantages of RTPS, emphasizing its main benefits, including better liquidity management, higher supplier and customer satisfaction, and an easier payment process overall, but let's not just glance at this channel's surface. Examine the specifics by navigating to the bottom of the Wells Fargo page. We see that Clearinghouse Payment Company LLC has registered RTP as a service mark. What follows, therefore, when we go to clearinghouse.gov? Fostering Payment Innovation is a project that makes it possible for financial institutions of all sizes to take advantage of the possibilities of the RTP network. Therefore improving digital services for clients in the retail and corporate sectors. Increase in quarterly RTPS payments when measured in billions, activity is nil. The number of financial institutions embracing this real-time payment revolution and the scope of their technology both rise at a rate that is not insignificant and reflects a year-over-year -year increase as transaction volumes soar on the RTP network. 
Partners are very amazing. The list includes HSBC, Wells Fargo, Citibank, Bank of America, and many more. Not to mention the suppliers of technology. Similar to ACI all-inclusive payments in addition to this changing environment, let's examine the important role that ACI plays globally in the global financial landscape as found on a worldwithoutnurse.com. ACI provides global IT services that help banks connect with and take full advantage of SWIFT's global payment initiative. ACI also leads the way in supporting real-time settlements globally. This implies that any bank can combine real-time payment systems with a variety of technologies, including distributed ledger technology, DLT, and SwiftFin GPI. It's interesting to see that ACI freely declares its support for Ripple and instant payments. Remember the video I mentioned there are three consortiums in two days ago? In a project carried out across a virtual private network last year, 11 of the top banks, including Barclays, UBS, and HSBC, tried a private blockchain. Because Microsoft's Azure cloud was spread over four continents, banks were able to settle transactions nearly instantly. They also completed a test utilizing Ripple and XRP, in sharp contrast to the days or weeks usually needed. This showed how banks might use XRP and Ripple's network to create fiat currency markets with 12 banks and execute authenticated payments without requiring several NOO accounts, which would decrease expenses, create new revenue streams, and bring clearinghouse.gov back. Impact and assimilation of Ripple technology inside the contemporary financial landscape, penetrating further into the validated universe of Ripple. These servers are necessary for the confirmation of transactions on network the distributed financial technology that Ripple uses. With its hosted Ripple Validator node, CGI enters this market and provides banking clients with a dependable network ally for Ripple's technology, which is essential for real-time settlement of both local and foreign transactions. Not only is CGI excited to work with Ripple, but they're also leading the way in this area with the recent introduction of the CGI Intelligent Gateway. One of the first payment solutions in the banking sector to use Ripple's distributed technology, which is transforming payment processing systems globally, is Game Changer. This brings attention to the technology providers listed on the Clearinghouse website. As I indicated in yesterday's video on FINRA.org to link to the Ripple, FOSTRA captures attention. Using standard messages and the Fusion Complete Messaging Adapter, I'll go into further detail. There's additional investigation into how this relates to SWIFT in a brief moment. Deeper into the webpage of Clearinghouse Volante, which can be found on volantech.com in the Technology Providers section. According to its official website, Volp is compatible with most cross-border payment networks, such as B2B Visa Direct, SWIFT GPI Ripple Visa, and others. This demonstrates a wider trend in which leading digital companies are endorsing and facilitating a range of payment networks. Could it be the changing face of international financial transactions? The NDA binds a lot of important players. Non-disclosure agreements prohibiting them from publicly revealing their private conversations with financial institutions and governments. This could be the reason for the secrecy surrounding a large portion of what we have discovered in recent years. From this vantage point, we see ourselves as a truck backing up directly to the bank doors, prepared to load. We're persuaded that the dollar's purchasing power is declining, so we're packing up the bags, packing them tight, and stacking them high to make sure we don't miss any opportunities. This isn't just conjecture, inflation has shaped reality, and the obvious truth is that interest in distributed ledger technology, blockchain technology, and cryptocurrencies is surging. Regarding our joint adventure, it's evident that we have high goals in mind. Gazing skyward, I prepared for a makeshift camp. Please keep in mind that I am not a certified financial advisor when we are on the moon. These videos material is only meant to be watched for enjoyment. I always advise viewers that before making any financial decisions, they should do their research and speak with experts. Many thanks if you liked the video, please tune in. Give it a thumbs up, please, and remember to click the subscribe button and ensure that the notifications are turned on. To be the first to know about the introduction of fresh content that I'm eager to watch. In the next video, be careful.